I've seen lots of maps with pins on them, but this has to be the most extensive I've ever seen. Look, there's Antarctica people. <laughs> that might be a little futzy, but nevertheless, how cool is that? That is cool. Okay, welcome to this week's episode of Love Sub, and, and today finds us at... We are in Pottsville, Pennsylvania, outside a certain famous brewery, right? It's the oldest brewery in America. Continually running since 1829. Now, and that's Yingling. Yes. And we've been driving up and down I-81 all this time, seeing the signs for the tours, and we're like, someday we're going to stop there. Yep, and today's the day. So let's go ahead and check out the brewery, plus we'll check out a few of the other things that maybe are, we didn't expect. Right, there's something interesting to see anywhere you go and it's just a matter of finding it out. I'm trying not to stare at this helicopter that's flying overhead. Yes. So just, let's go ahead and get into this episode and check out this brewery. Should be fun. So if you're looking for parking for the brewery tour, there is a big parking lot, as you can see it fits the truck, behind the brewery. So it's the road behind the brewery and where the gift shop is. So if you're up on the road where Youngling Brewery is, just take a quick right as you hit the brewery and you'll come down here to the parking lot. That's like the greatest chandelier I've ever seen. Let's go check it out. So you're checking out a map. Yep, and I was looking for the monument and we found it right there. Cool. Very neat. So this is the racking room where they would actually take the, and fill the kegs of beer right from here. They fill like 900 to 1,000 a piece. And then over here, these are the tunnels that they chiseled out so that they could cold lager the beer. And they had the, some of the miners chisel out two tunnels like this and it's always 50 degrees no matter what the temperature is here in these tunnels to cold lager the beer. And that's before they had air conditioners. Yes. So. This was a perfect place to age your beer. They've been doing it since 1830 something here. Wow. America's oldest brewery. This is very cool. Look at this. Look at these tunnels. They, they carved these all out by hand, if you believe it. it. Took them 10 years. We were on a small tour today of four people. All right, during Prohibition, they broke all the barrels down here and they ripped up these openings into the cave to keep them from using them. And they survived during the pro prohibition term by making near beer, small amounts of porter, and dairy and ice cream. That's actually brick from the original brick over that the right. government bricked over so that they couldn't use it. Right, and up there is this, where they had the cistern. Yeah, so the cistern. water that they used to use back in the day. And now all that's left of it is that. We're trying to catch up with our tour here so we don't get yelled at, but that's one of the resting barrels. They're quite yeah, large yeah. enough. How interesting. I never expected to see this kind of thing here. So say what room are we in right here? This is the Rothskeller. And this is the area where the employees will come to eat lunch. And they used to get beer from the tap there also if they did their they job. They get beer at lunch. Absolutely. That's like the greatest company ever. Until OSHA stepped in and yeah. put a Bummer. thumbs down on that one. So it's very cool. I don't know what this is, but look at how beautiful that is. I love it. So we're here in the brew house where they're brewing their beer at the America's oldest brewery. You can see the different vats where the wort and the mash and all that other stuff goes here. And I was trying to figure out why 
if they have these other massive breweries and they still brew in small batch stuff here and that's because if they didn't they couldn't call themselves America's oldest brewery because then the brewery would close down and be not America's oldest brewery so right so um, they do it here so that they can continue so they to remain keep that name right which makes total sense right I have to figure to try to figure that out now I got it tour in Utica you know that the prohibition had a big impact on some of these breweries and we show in that video what happened in the Saranac brewery and here is the telegraph that allowed Yangling to start brewing again so and you can see we're sitting here in the tasting room which they used to make ice cream and dairy products yep. and you kind of get that feel with the Tiffany kind of white and the white is tile looks, and looks everything. very dairy isk and they get some free beer samples. Yep, you have two free samples of Yingling, which uh, a couple of them I haven't had before. The porter is spectacular. This may yes. this may actually beat my Edmund Fitzgerald from Great Lakes as Absolutely. far as the best porter. So we're gonna pick up some beer before we leave, and we'll see how it goes. All right, good tour. Yep. So this is the spring house at Bicentennial Park, sponsored by Yingling. And the reason it's sponsored by Young Lee is they used to get their water from here for their beer for the longest time. It's why they located the brewery where it did. Absolutely. And so they mentioned this during the brewery tour and they stopped using, of course, the spring water and they're now using the commercial water. But this is sort of a, a tribute to the fact that this was the first water source for the city back in the day. And it's so fun to go off the beaten track and explore some tangents that are related to your tour. Right, not just stop at the tour, but go explore further, like we did with the spring where the original this, Yingling water came and from. And this is such a beautiful little park, and it's been fun just to walk around. It's about a third of a mile up hill from the Yingling Brewery. And there were some awesome mansions that we saw that were just crazy interesting. Absolutely, and so it's just fun to explore a town and get the whole feel for it. A lot of these old mansions are in need of restoration, but some of them are really themed. Like this one is Greek with the Corinthian columns. But look at this little fence liner here. That is just adding to the atmosphere. How cool is that? So continuing our theme that you can always find something interesting. You know, Civil War monuments are all over the eastern half of the United they States. They seem to be a dime a dozen and they all look like very similar. But we always check them out anyway. And look at this one. Nicholas Biddle from Pottsville was the first person to shed blood in the American Civil War in April 18th, 1861. So from this hometown, the first Americans shed their blood during the Civil War. And it's a pretty impressive statue. So we just finished lunch here where we had some delicious yingling beer, right? Correct, and we asked our tour guide where a good place to eat here in Pottsville was. Yeah, that's always a good tip. You know, ask the tour guides, ask the locals. She steered us to this place. It may not be traditional Pennsylvania food because it was... Tacos. Tacos. But I had some wonderful empanadas. And it was delicious. And it was very reasonably priced as well. Couldn't beat it. All right, good lunch. Let's yep. keep on moving. Yep. All right, well, there you have it. Our tour of Yingling Brewery and Pottsville, Pennsylvania. What do you think? It was a very interesting town full of Americana and neat things to see, I thought. And we've seen a lot of cool breweries. The first one to ship to Prohibition, the oldest brewery. So um, it was a really fun thing. I've been meaning to see this for a long time. It was it great. Not, it did not disappoint at all. It did not. The tour was great. The tour guide was great. We got to see some extra stuff because we were a small party. Right. So she said she led a group of 31 yesterday and that sort of limited her to certain different spaces. And we'll be drinking Yingling right now, but the consumption of alcoholic beverages is prohibited by the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and State Park. So Correct. we're not. Well, yeah. Right. So if you like this video, <laughs> give us a big thumbs up. And if you think we've earned a subscription, 
click the subscribe. And comment below if you've had a favorite brewery tour that you'd like to share. Because we come out with RV and Airstream related videos just like this one every Tuesday. Thanks for watching.